Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a splash screen to your Next.js 13 project. A splash screen is an introduction page to a website. Reasons why you might want to add a splash screen is to build your brand identity as well as keep the user occupied while your app loads in the background. As I mentioned in the beginning, this project will be using Next.js 13, specifically with the beta version app directory. For styling, I'm using Tailwind CSS, as well as Anime.js, which is a lightweight JavaScript animation library. So let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a repository. I've already been working on. You can access this repository in the description below. Before we get started, I wanted to show you the inspiration that made me want to create this. I've been looking at different websites for ideas on UI and UX, and I came across this website right here. If I refresh it right here, we could see that there is this splash screen before we enter the page, and I really like that. This is the Brittany Chang's portfolio. If you want to go check it out, here's the URL. And it's a really nice we laid out website that has some good animations. And yeah, today we are going to be focusing on this part right here. So if I go back to my original website, this is my portfolio. If I refresh it right now, we don't have that screen. In order to do that, we are going to go inside the components folder and create a new file called splash screen. Now inside here, we are going to be creating our function. Now the next thing we are going to do is we're going to go inside our app directory and open up our root layout. Inside here, we want to import our splash screen. Once we have our splash screen imported, we are going to add some conditions and some checks. We are going to create some constants. The first one is going to be path name. And you see how Next.js automatically adds it. And the next thing we're going to add is another constant called is home. What is home is doing is it's returning us a true or false depending on if the path name is equal to the home page. And lastly, we are going to be creating a is loading variable as well as a setter. And we are going to have to use use state for this. Since we're using use state, we need to import it as well as we need to make this a use client. Once we do that, the next thing we are going to create is a use effect. Once we have created our use effect, you see that it imported automatically. We are going to check if is loading is true. And then we are going to pass in the parameter of is loading inside our array. Now, once we have done that, we are going to go inside our body. You could see that in my body, I am filling this whole screen with a background image. So this is how you do that. If you want an image in the background and not just a plain screen. Within the body, we are going to put a condition where if is loading is true and is home is true, meaning that when we are entering the page for the first time, then what we are going to show is our splash screen. And if it's not true, we are going to show our fully loaded screen. So this is our condition statement. So now you see when the page re-renders, you see splash screen is shown. However, it's stuck here and it's not taking us to this next section. Now we could go back to our splash screen and I'm going to stop this and we are going to go to the anime.js website. I haven't used anime that much, but from what I've seen on the website and the documentation, it looks pretty awesome. And I might do some more videos in the future on how to create cool animations using it. To install it, we are going to be running this npm install. Once it's done installing, then we can run this again. We are going to import anime at the top. And then also I'm going to be importing image from Next.js. Once we've done that, we're going to go inside our function. I'm going to be passing in a parameter called finish loading. Once I do that, I'm going to be creating a constant called is mounted with its setter and we are going to be using the use state we're going to make it false then underneath we are going to be creating an animate function within this we are going to create a constant called loader and loader is going to be equal to anime 
dot timeline just like that and we are going to make complete equal to this function and we are going to put a comma after it and if you want to know what this does you could take a look at the anime documentation here it is if you want to check it out i'll put it in the description below then after that we are going to be referencing loader right underneath it and before i put anything inside here i need to add what my screen is going to look like so i'll copy and paste that right here so what this div is doing is I'm using Tailwind CSS to make sure that the screen is stretched and whatever item I'm putting inside my div that it's in the center. Here's the image that I'm using. That's the logo that I had in the beginning. And I'm including an ID with it called ID logo. I'm going to be referencing that logo within this ad. So this is what's inside the ad. I have a target in the target that I am uh, targeting is this image right here with this id there is one more thing that i need to add in order to test this out and that is a use effect and inside this use effect this is going to control how long this flash screen stays on for we're going to create a timeout after that i'm going to be calling the animate function that we created above right here which adds up all the durations i'll be adding more ads in just one second and then once it's done i'm going to be returning a clear timeout and i'm going to be passing in this constant that i just created now we can't test this out yet because we added a parameter to our splash screen so we are going to have to go back to our layout page and add this parameter inside here and what that parameter is going to look like is like this once we receive that the splash screen is done performing its animations, we are going to set is loading to false. Once that's false, then this condition is false and then it should take us to this section right here. So that's how the logic works. I'm going to go back to our splash screen and now if I try loading the screen, what should happen is we saw the logo we are no longer seeing that splash screen text at the top and it's navigating us back to this page there's one thing i forgot to do there's an error that's showing up on the console since we are using use effect and use state we are going to have to add use client at the top right here so once i added that use client and i refresh the page again that error doesn't show up in my console once I've done that, I want my logo to last a little bit longer. So I'm going to chain another ad at the end of this ad. I'm going to scale the logo a little bit bigger. And then let's see what happens if I refresh it. So you see it increases in size. Now, if I want to create a pulsing effect, I could just do this twice. And we will see what happens. So it performs it one time, two time, and then it finishes, and then it loads it back to here. So this only happens when I'm on this home screen. If I go to any other page, the splash screen will not show up. So I have to refresh the page. It's the first time someone enters the website. And that's how you add a splash screen. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Like always, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I'm working on creating more videos about animation because I've been just really fascinated on how these websites just have really nice UI and UX as well as other topics. So subscribe if you want to check those out and get notified when I post them. See you next time.